Hello, here I am from the future uh, to insert a video here in between 2.5 and 3.1. Um, this is less of a fundamentals of programming concept and more of a computer graphics concept, but it is just like being asked to me so many times over and over and over again that I feel the need to add this as a tutorial here. So what so many people are trying to do in watching these tutorials and learning to program graphics in P5 is have something that you can paint, like draw a trail or something that layers over time, but also something that doesn't have that trail, that animates without leaving where it was before. And in fact, the true answer to that is, you know, maybe you would want to wait until object-oriented programming and arrays because later you'll see some techniques for doing this where you can just like store all the information and store the history of the information and draw it or not draw it. But for right now, I'm going to show you a technique. And I actually have a video about this already, but it uses some fancier things that kind of aren't at this point here in this tutorial series. So you could go look at that other video about Create Graphics too. But I'm going to show you how Create Graphics works. So this is what I have right now. I'm going to show you the problem. This is a P5 sketch where I don't, I don't, I want this square to move around, but I want it to, I don't, I want it to animate without leaving a trail. But I also want to be able to paint over this canvas. And I can't now because if I click, it draws the circle, but it's not drawing its trail. Oh, so I can take the background out and then now, oh, I can paint, but oh, now that. So either I'm not erasing the background and everything has a trail or I'm erasing a background and nothing has a trail. So there is a way around, not around this, which is to use something called Create Graphics. And what Create Graphics will actually let me do is basically have two canvases. I can have two canvases, one with trails, one without trails, and the one with trails I can kind of like layer on top of the one without trails. So I want like, so here, let's put background back here. So this is no trails, and this is here, trails. Right now, everything is being drawn on this one canvas, so everything is no trails. So instead, I can make a variable, I'm going to call it like canvas2, that's sort of like our extra canvas. Maybe I'll call it, let's just, yeah, like I'll call it extra canvas, a very silly, silly variable name, but let's call it that. And I'm going to say extra canvas equals create graphics um, 400, 400. So what this is doing is just like this is create canvas. It's a little bit weird. Like, why don't I just say create canvas? Well, you have to use different terminology. The canvas is only in P5 is the thing that refers to the actual thing that you're seeing. But I want to create an off-screen canvas. That's a graphics object. And so now, once I have that, um, I can do things like, say, extra canvas background. And I'm going to say like 25500. Now, we don't see it. I've drawn this red background, 25500, on another canvas. How do I see that canvas? Well, the way that I see that canvas is by saying image extra canvas 00. zero. So basically, this is me drawing the extra canvas, oh, but I don't see it. Why? Because I immediately drew the background after it. So let me comment out this background. Then you see, look, the extra canvas is there behind the thing that's moving. This is kind of what we want. But I actually want to do this in a different way. I want the extra canvas to be on top. I want the extra canvas to come at the end. Oh, but now I don't see the stuff on the main canvas because the extra canvas is covering it. Well, guess what? I can actually call a function instead of drawing a background called clear. And what clear does is it makes that extra canvas completely transparent. So now I have a completely see-through extra canvas sitting on top of the regular canvas. And guess what? What if now I draw stuff to that extra canvas? Like I draw the ellipse, extra canvas. So instead of saying just plain ellipse, I'm saying extra canvas dot. And this is involves, the reason why I don't want to put this here is this involves some syntax that we're not familiar with. It's a variable dot a function name. And this is going to come up, this is foreshadowing object-oriented programming. But for now, you can see I'm drawing the ellipse on this extra canvas. And I am going to set no, the extra canvas to have no stroke and the extra canvas to have fill. And now, look at that. I'm drawing a trail and that is not drawing a trail. Now let's make this a little bit more clear what's going on just for a second. Let's, um, let's make the, because I, I want this, the square to be quite a different color. So I'm going to make it red so you can really see it. And what's interesting about this is note, so I'm drawing, but no, look, I'm, I can draw over it. So that, I'm drawing over it. 
So that, this is like sort of like code one where I'm drawing over it. What if I want the red thing to be on top? Well, no problem. I'll just move this, right? Actually, all I need to do is move the drawing of the rectangle after I draw the extra canvas. Let's see if that works. There we go. So now I'm painting underneath. The background for the main canvas is still at the beginning. Then I layer in the transparent one. Then I layer that. So this can be used. What, what, what I saw um, students and people watching videos try to do is try to create like a lot of stars. So let me just duplicate the, uh, even though this video can really be done, I'm gonna uh, have two, uh, two code examples linked in the video's description. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna show you what um, people were trying to do. Instead of painting, uh, one thing you might wanna do is have a lot of stars, in which case, uh, if you were using random, I'm gonna take out if mouse is pressed, and I'm gonna say let, let star x equal random width, let, let star y equal random height, and then I'm gonna say, you know, you might have a nicer visual design than just an ellipse, but I'm gonna star x, star y, I'm gonna draw an ellipse at star x and star y, that's like 10 by 10, and then if I run this, oh, look at that. Ah, why, I totally forgot the thing that I'm doing, right? This is the thing, I'm drawing all these stars, but <laughs> the whole point of this is I wanna draw them on the extra canvas, extra canvas. So now you see this is a way that I can layer things up randomly while something is animating by not erasing the background on part, by erasing the background part. So I'll, I'll clean up both of these code examples and link them in this video's description. Hope this like answered a question that a lot of you seem to have right at this part. Okay, see you later.